Hey race team, just wanted to give you a quick update before today's podcast. We recorded season three, episode one with Jack Ramsey a few weeks ago. He was poised and ready to tackle a mini bike world record for the longest ride in 24 hours. Sadly, a few days ago, Jack was maliciously ran off the road by a trucker while riding his mini bike. He was rushed to the closest hospital. He is alive and recovering, but still won't be riding for quite some time. He still wants to accomplish this goal. Pray for a speedy recovery for you, Jack. And everyone out there watching and listening, please ride safe, ride wisely, man. Ride on. Say what, say what, say what. Let me get ya one time. I'm gonna get him. Oh. Can you uh, turn up the uh, bass in my <laughs> I leave more snare. I was gonna drop it on y'all. Here we go. What's up, Facebook Live? This is Mini Biking Ain't Easy. This is season three, episode one, and we are so glad that you're joining with us today, right here, right now. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, next time catch us on Facebook a week earlier so that you can comment, ask us silly questions, do whatever you want, send us emojis, whatever. We love the interaction with you guys. Uh, so as always, I'm Jason. I'm with my besties. I got Zane keeping us in the lane. I got Bernier on the ones, twos, and threes. What up, what up? And all the way from Oklahoma, he needs no introduction, but this man is Jack Ramsey. <laughs> Jack Ramsey of Mini Bike Coalition. And man, so we had you on last season, but right now we have a huge attempt that you are about to embark on. So tell us a little bit about your journey you're about to, you're about to go on. Well... I'm going to go to the grocery store and, uh, no, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> so, Longest milk run in the world. Right, right. We're going to ride with the milk open and not spill a drop. <laughs> nice. Um, hey, that's, that's a challenge. Right, that's a challenge. Yeah. I've seen somebody do it on a skateboard or something like that. Uh, no, but on the real, um, I had this uh, joking around with the guys after, you know, many, uh, many trips out in the, in the trails and whatnot and, and uh, different events. We've always kind of joked around about, man, it'd be awesome to ride across the country or, you know, a, a really long distance. And um, it all started with we were doing like uh, we had this Relive app and and it kind of turned into almost like a competition who could do, you know, X amount of miles in a day or who, who rides the furthest and or rides their bike the most and stuff like that. Kind of joking around. And I was like, I'm going to ride across the country. And I was like, well, I'm going to go ride to Albuquerque because I got a family out there. My wife's out there and stuff. And. Uh, so I, I joked around about it and, and it kind of became a reality. Um, mainly because I, I started joking about it to a lot of people and then you guys took me serious and I was like, Oh no, Oh no, I'm going to have to do this now. (laughs) So, um, yeah, here it is. Um, and now it's happening for real. Um, the only thing that, that switched up, um, is we changed our destination. Okay. Um, so I was going to go to Albuquerque and then come out here and then back into Tulsa. Um, but going out to Albuquerque is, is a whole nother venture in itself. Um, and could be done at a later time when, when we got more time for it, but to try to make it to Albuquerque in 24 hours is going to be really hard to do because of the elevation change, um, going into Klein's corners in New Mexico, you're getting up to 7,000 feet and we're at 600 and some in Tulsa. So, I mean, there's going to be some drastic changes in the carburetor and having to figure that out along the way and then keep adjusting, keep adjusting. And then you plummet back down from 7,000 feet to 4,000 feet. Um, so it's just, it was a lot to do. And so we were trying to come up with a route and I was like, man, I'm Texas. It's flat. Yes. <laughs> so we can, Amen. We, can, we can ride all the way across Texas and not really have to worry about that. And so um, we had recently went out to Mustang Island uh, with my family and had a vacation out there on the beach. And I rode my mini bike up and down the beach, and it was a whole lot of fun. And so I was like, you know, let's, let's see what the distance is. And it was actually almost exactly the same. They were really close um, in mileage um, from where I'm going to be starting um, it's a little bit shorter to go into Port Aransas, but 
I'm not going to have to fight as much of the elevation change, you know, and that was the, that was the biggest thing. Um, so wait, where are you starting? And just, it's a little town called Shoto, Oklahoma. Nice. Um, it's a little Amish town just uh, east of Tulsa. Um, we love our uh, we love our Amish people out there. They're nice. nice. And, what uh, did they think of this record breaking attempt? The Amish people are actually really excited. There's a there's a guy, oddly enough, his name is Jebediah. I talked to you not too long ago. <laughs> nice. uh, he was cruising his Ferguson tractor, and uh, he seen me riding through the neighborhood, and he was like, "That thing's pretty cool." And I told him to ride it, and and they're uh, Mennonites, and uh, so I was like, "You know, you guys, you totally." get away with riding a mini bike it's a basic pole string i'm like come on now yeah what um, are the rules for mennonites you're allowed to i use... don't know they're allowed to use certain technology okay. but um not, but yeah. amish don't at all. amish don't at all and, okay. and if you catch them on a sunday it's all horse and buggy out there nice um the horses don't much care for my as we're, as we're both passing each other for church um <laughs> the horses are least but pleased with my bike um the kids love it but um I mean, it's a nice little town um and uh, it actually all kind of started because uh, my town uh, put an ordinance against mini bikes. Like specifically? Uh, yeah, man. I was like, I was, uh, are what? You, I, I yeah. feel like you did that. I was personally, personally offended. attacked. I was like, <laughs> who else rides mini bikes around this town? Nobody. There's a couple kids in our neighborhood who ride around. And uh, they were like, oh, well, they blow the stop sign and they're speeding. And I'm like, uh, they're stock mini bikes, son. I'm like, no, they ain't speeding. <laughs> uh, I see them riding around the neighborhood. I love those kids. They're cool. They may be doing other things, but speed right. is and, definitely... And they, might, they might roll through the stop sign here and there, but um, they're not hooligans. Just let them ride, man. They're going to be no. kids. Either way, um, they were letting people ride around golf carts and stuff like that, and I was like, well, if they can ride around the golf cart, I'll do the same thing with my mini bike, and I got it insured. And I went up there, and I was like, look, it's insured. I was like, it's got reflectors. And they had this God awful huge orange, you know those orange triangles, the caution triangles. Yeah. So they have to put these on the back of all the tractors, the Amish people, um, and that's how they get around their registration because they don't they don't live at our same our same rules and laws and stuff. Oh, I so, see. Yeah. Um, so they have to make theirs just um, slow moving vehicle legal, mm. um, and uh, one of the things is they have to have this big God awful triangle on. So. For you to ride around your golf cart or side by side or something, you pay a fee through the city, uh, through the city, and you have to have this god awful orange triangle. I put one on the back of my bike, and it was just the ugliest thing. It was a huge wind sail. I, I swear it slowed me down, um, but they wouldn't let me do it. And they're like, "No," and I was like, "Well, I guess I'll just get it registered with the state." And the cop looked at me. He was like, "You're never going to be able to do that." In his face. Yeah. Cut to. Right. <laughs> Cut to. Come on out, Mr. Cop. <laughs> it's rub it in your face. You're now. about to get dunked on. <laughs> right. um, so, yeah, they, they've seen me riding around. They see me riding. And uh, and, and they're head. hating. Yeah. Uh, well, no, the, you, the cop, most of the cops, they didn't care. Yeah. Um, it was the constant complaints, they said. But, you know, he said he was going to stop me and inspect my bike and all this and that. And he hasn't. Um, I think he just kind of was like. You know, whatever. Yeah. I'm not speeding or causing a nuisance. Bigger, bigger fish to fry. Right, right. And I just went through all these hoops and was like, yeah, I did. So, yeah. Um, so now that it's street legal, I was like, there's no doubt in my mind we can pull this off. Cause I'm like, first off, to ride across Texas on a not street legal anything is dangerous, especially if you ride through small towns. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. Them small town Texas cops. So, um, now that we have it registered and insured, um, um, without a doubt, I know I can ride. I've gone through a couple towns. We I took up to Eureka Springs um, last weekend. That was a whole lot of fun cruising around the haunted city of, of downtown Eureka Springs. Cool. Um, and uh, the police got behind me there, and I thought for sure he was gonna. I was like Arkansas cop. Yeah. And no, he didn't bother me. The uh, staters have not bothered me at all around Oklahoma. I guess he felt like if you weren't already scared about being in a haunted ha town, he needed to like put a little fear in you by riding right. behind you. <laughs> right. Well, so there's a small, there's a, an intersection, a Y intersection. You come down past the basin, and then there's a part where you're coming up past a couple of the restaurants, and um, there's like the Cent Grand Central hotels down that way. And um, I don't have a stop sign, but it all weaves into one, and they have a stop sign, but somebody had set off the fire alarm inside the convention center and so like two thousand people come pouring out onto the street and so now there's fire trucks lined up the one way down into town i'm off to the side of this cop right behind me and i'm just like please don't please don't bother me and 
<laughs> I get up and I turn around. Um, the cop didn't end up bothering me, but these two drunk guys come up and, and um, one of them insisted that I either ride with this big zucchini he had or a box of peanut butter crunch. And so I took the peanut butter crunch. Was, nice. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> wait, let's, let's read on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> As in they were already carrying these two items so, and handed it to you? Yes. They, okay. Nice. So they come stumbling around the corner. And he's got a grocery bag and, and uh, yeah, you and have to carry this. He was just like, he was like, man, that's a cool bike, man. That's a cool bike. That, like, yeah. And he was like, dude, he's like, serious question. He's like, what would you rather ride with more? And I'm like, what's up? He says, so this zucchini and pulls out this gigantic zucchini. I'm like, that's people are gonna ask questions yeah. at this point. I'm like, and then he pulls it's just out, a confidence booster he keeps right, in his pocket. Right, right. It's this no biggie, two foot zucchini. Um, <laughs> and he pulls out the the peanut butter crunch, and I was like, I was like, peanut butter crunch sounds good. Give me that. I threw it on my bike, made it a lap, and then threw it in the truck, and I was just like, whatever. But uh, nice. but to those guys from Eureka Springs, thanks for the cereal. Bag. They're actually yeah. here. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say that that was the. Uh, I'm only saying this because we just talked about it this morning. That was the Taylor Swift of stories. Oh, <laughs> that was like that. the ASAP Rocky video. <laughs> It was just, I was like, okay, what's happening? You're like, oh, then there's 2,000 people just poured out of the convention center. And then these two dudes whipped out a zucchini and peanut butter crunch. Yeah. It's yeah. like, I did not know what to expect. <laughs> In the hills of Arkansas, watch out. Yeah. So does that mean you, you rode your mini bike from home all the way to Eureka No, um, I actually took it out there. There was a show going on. They have a classic car show that they do. Okay. Um, it was the 53rd annual. Um, they cruise around downtown. Um, and I really just went to go cruise around. I wanted to go check it out. Um, on top of that, Eureka Springs is where me and my wife got married. Aww. And um, Aww. when when we got married, it was it was on a budget, man. Um, we had went out there, and I kind of, you know, we'd been together for four years already, and um, and best friends since we were kids. And uh, so I asked her to marry me there. And this was after you know I turned my life around, and me and her got back together. Um, we had a short while I got my stuff together, a little hiatus. Mm. <laughs> but um, while we were out there in Eureka Springs for her birthday, um, I asked her to marry me. I was like, marry me right now. And so we went to the Justice of the Peace, and uh, they were like, cool, just go get the this and bring us your rings. And I'm like, crap, a ring. And uh, I'm already looking. I'm looking at my wallet, and it's got jokes, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I opened it up and just started laughing. Just and, uh, dust comes out. Yeah. <laughs> one right. one moth. Yeah, the Simpsons had predicted that one. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and so I got. We ended up getting this cheap twenty five dollar ring from the uh, jewelry. Um, I guess dress up jewelry store or something like that. And she thought it was really pretty and loved it. Um, but that ring actually broke, and so she was upset about it. But she was like, "I was like, I want to get you a nicer ring." She's like, "No, I want." I want that same ring. It means more to me. And so that was really the main reason I went to Eureka. But I was like, sweet, some classic cars, cruise the mini bike around. It was a blast. Nice. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. So now I got to to set the story up for everyone else. What are the two world records you're trying to break? Okay. So uh, in the Guinness Book of World Records, um, two gentlemen rode their uh, mini bikes 466 miles in 24 hours. Um, that's what that was the record for 24 hours for Guinness Book of Records. People have claimed to have done it more than that, or they've done longer trips. Um, the fact is that there's no actual proof, um, and that's what we are going to muster up is is the actual proof. Um, so 466 miles in 24 hours is the record. I plan on trying to crush 700 plus. Whew. Yeah. Blowing right <sighs> past it. Blow. We're going to cruise right past that bad boy in, in first gear. Yeah. You know? <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, or is it second? You only need that one gear. Though. Right, right, right. Um, the other record is, uh, 1500 it was 1,522 miles, and it was done by three individuals on mini motos, um, and they covered that in 14 days. And I'm going to cover a little over 1,600 miles in four. Um, granted that nothing goes catastrophically wrong, um, 
And by catastrophically wrong, the bike's going to have to literally break in half. Um, that's the frame break in half and, and hope that there's not a welder close by because I will put it back together. Mm. Um, but that is literally, the only, I think, the only thing that's going to stop me. I've got plenty of spare parts. Me and Taylor spent all day going over the whole bike. Um, we got, it's, it's basically like a brand new bike rolling out. So, again, so. so actually, what kind of bike are you riding? What, what did it start as and now what so, has it become? And now it has become um, the monster that it is now. It is uh, the Megalodon on steroids. Okay. okay. Um, it has. So it started out as a Mega Moto 212 with uh, the Go Power Sports bolt on rear swing arm. And then um, I put a Tilliston 212 that me and uh, Charles and Evan put together two, year, uh, two years ago at Pate Swap Meet. Nice. Um, so that motor was just running like a champ and. and uh, I decided to go ahead and freshen it up. And then we got the 20 inch um, longer lasting tires. For, they're actually for, uh, meant for like the go karts, um, but they fit on the eight inch wheels and they look phenomenal. They and look I'm great. really stoked because I was riding on knobbies before. And so this is going to be like smooth, but oh, for yeah. sure. I'm stoked about it. They're what a quality of life improvement. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. And that's really, that's, that's for real because, um, I'm I'm really excited to see how they, they they have a nice balloon look to them. They've got I mean deep tread. Um, I, I'm really excited to see how these tires are gonna are gonna ride out. Um, we got extra spare tires in case something happens, but um, really it's just a, a whole bunch of parts. Um, you guys got us um, chase vehicles, uh, so we have a, a, a nice big van that we're gonna have full of parts and and tools and everything. Um, and we have an amazing crew. Uh, we got Burn Dog coming. I'll be there. And there's a lot of technical things that we have to um, document on this trip. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. So. when you were talking about the evidentiary part of it where it's like Guinness – just reading over what they're looking for, holy moly. Right. You have and to be filming 24-7. Yeah. It is a wild amount of film that they want. And and and, and on top of that, filming is, is everybody part of the group. Um, I started kind of doing this here, and, and this is just kind of a, a mock-up one that I did, but it's probably going to be what we use because it's what I have. Oh, dope. Um, and so I've got these mileage logs, and, and we're going to be able to log every little event every time it stop what we stopped for, where we're at, um, how many miles we've gone so far. Um, and along with that, everybody's going to have themselves a, you know, a little, little composition or something like that. They can throw any notes in that they want. I have two independent witnesses that are not associated with the mini bike coalition. Yeah. Um, that was that like one coming. of the hardest things. Is it, like it really was. It's because I had to reach out and I had to find volunteers and, um, one of the guys that um, I've rode with out in Tulsa, he rides, um, he's got some, he's got a mini bike or two, but he's got like uh, a champion and a ice bear. Um, the little ruckus knockoff bikes. And then he's yeah. got a big motorcycle. And, and, uh, and so he was just like, man, he's like, I, I'd be willing to do it. I, I, it would give me a reason to ride my bike. That's awesome. And so uh, he's coming as a witness and his wife is actually going to drive the film vehicle and my wife is coming and she's going to be driving the chase van my buddy mike cordell with wrecking ball garage he's going to be my uh man maintenance um pit crew he's okay. uh, he does an amazing job he does an amazing job with bobby hammond for mfc uh during the 180 he's his pit crew and he's uh he's helped carry bobby to two consecutive wins i mean no you're in good hands yeah so i and uh yeah he's just a good guy he's one of my best friends and he's always been there and he's helped me out in, in a lot of stuff um, him and Bobby both, uh, between, between that crew right there. I mean, it's solid, but on top of that, but, but wait, there's more. <laughs> my buddy AK is coming along for the ride as nice. well and bringing his girlfriend and he's going to ride his big motorcycle. Um, oh. he wanted to ride a mini bike as well. It was so much for us to get just this one to the point where I'm like, yes, we can do this. Um, we start toting some other not street legal mini bikes. It's going to hold the group up. You got to yeah. worry about the other bike breaking down. Uh, just too many factors. And I was like, if we just focus all of the energy on this one mini bike, and we can make this happen. And and it's it does. It's going to take a small village for us to do this. Really, I, you. 
I am like super proud of you, man. And I'm Thanks. also like, I'm impressed. Like you have my undying esteem right now. Cause this is such, you are, you set yourself a goal and you're going for it. And it's one of those things that like, I heard uh, the gentleman downstairs and he was like, oh, why are you doing this? Like, what? Oh, you can't do it. And you're like, but I always think about it made me think of the Teddy Roosevelt quote where he was like, you know, the 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 person you, you shouldn't stop the person who's attempting something great. Like, it's right. like, yeah, like it doesn't matter. The, you know, it's about the man in the fight. And like right. you're the one who's actually getting in the ring to do this. I'm sure a lot of people are like, whatever. Why would you even bother? But it's this is oh, this I've is been, amazing, man. Like you're setting history. Yeah. Like uh, I've been told by pretty much everybody. This is insane. Um, they're like, there's, you're gonna, you're gonna hate it by, by hour four, you're going to be done. And I'm like, I'm not, that's not, failure is not an option. Yeah. It's not. And it, it really is like the, uh, the whole, um, you can't ride your mini bike anywhere situation that, that started to arise and, uh, you'll never get it registered was a challenge in itself for me. And I overcame that. So the only thing from there is what's next, you know? Yeah. What, what else you got? I mean, dude, you're basically just setting up, you're setting up goals and just kicking them over. That's, it's that's awesome, the idea. I, I sat on my butt too long in my life and, and, uh, and not doing something epic when I have the opportunity to, and it's just like, you know, if, if you see the opportunity to live life, do it, No. jump at it because you never know. You never know when you're going to end up in a situation where you you're stuck. You know what I mean? I could next week be, uh, you know, stuck taking care of my mother for, you know, some reason or, uh, and, and not ever have the opportunity to do something. Um, I don't know. It, it's, it's a weird aspect to put it at, but you know what I mean? The fear of not being able to jump out and do something gives me the drive to jump out and do it now mm. while I know I can do it. If I'm fully capable of making something happen, then yeah. then it's time to do it. You know what I mean? And, and uh, I think this is kind of, it's pushed into a personal achievement for me to tell myself that, yes, I can do this. If I can do this, then I can push myself to the next level and then to the next level. And I'm, I'm not talking about riding the mini bike further. It's what's the, what's the next step in, in my life? You know, yeah. um, where are we going to take it next? Um, business wise, where is life going to, where is it going to put us? What journey is ahead next? Um, and, and that's, that's the most exciting part is, is once you've done something awesome, you just want to do something more awesome. And yeah. And next thing you know, you're just living a very abundant life. And, um, when, when you, and uh, it's, uh, embracing the suck, it's like, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be hard, but the, the whole point of it, the thing that makes it worthwhile is that it is hard. Oh yeah. And if, if it was easy, everyone would be on a mini bike doing it. Right. And they're not. Yeah. Cause mini biking ain't easy. I've yeah. heard that. Mini biking ain't easy. That's yeah. it. For sure. I've heard that somewhere. Man, we should get a <laughs> shirt made or something. Right. Or, <laughs> or a sticker. sticker. Or a sticker. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So you have this ride coming on. I have a few questions. First, how long have you ridden current, uh, so far? Like, what's your longest route? And then what are you doing to prepare for this coming up? Well, uh, one thing I've been doing is uh, I'm riding pretty much every opportunity that I get, whether it be ride to church, ride to the store, um, ride to Tulsa. Um, that's a, you know, a 40-some mile ride there. Um but we did, uh, you know, we'll ride up to, we did a Disney trip. We, it's Disney, Oklahoma. Not, yeah, so <laughs> calm down, y'all. Um, Disney, Oklahoma, was, it was about an 88-mile round trip. We ran up there and, and hung out in, in the creek out there. And then um, we did one. It was a little over 130 miles um, to Tulsa, around Broken Arrow and Tulsa area. Um, and then back into Shoto, that was a 130-mile ride. Um, I did... 68 miles the other day just kind of putting around hanging out with the guys Dang. um so I, i'm i'm trying to get on the bike and stay on the bike as much as i can mm -hmm. i although i only did 60 miles cruising around tulsa the other day hanging out with some friends and stuff like that we were i was pretty much on the bike um putting around town for the better part of 10 hours yeah and that was to keep myself um moving and and just you know uh just making sure that i can i can keep myself awake and yeah 
Um, so that, that's really, that's one of the biggest things, you know, I get in the car and crank up the AC whenever I'm riding and, you know, two hours into it, I'm like, uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> Barry Manilow comes on and you're ready to go to bed. Yeah. Um, so Harley just brought in a magazine that, um, was talking about a world's longest mini bike ride. And did you say that the dude was singing the whole oh, entire way? Not the entire way, but they, it was, they said that, uh, cause they were going through the badlands and they said that they were getting so bored cause there was just nothing to look at. It was just flat and you're just driving. And so eventually they were just like, they started singing and they were just like singing as loud as they could. They also, this is back in the days when they, it said that they were having conversations with people on the road. So I guess motorists were driving past them and they would talk to them. Yeah. It was, a, you said it was from the seventies. Uh, it, it was, a, yeah. yeah in June of 1970. Yeah. Um, yeah, it but it's, bit. I mean, like it, it sounded interesting the way they did it, but yeah. it's, it's a, it's a different animal than what you're trying to attempt. Well, I mean, he did it on a much, um, a little Indian, a little Indian, a very much, a much smaller mini bike. But with a, yeah. it, actually they had to get a specialized seat for it though. They actually did a specialized seat with a back and stuff so that it would be more comfortable. Yeah. So actually yeah. are you, did you do anything to the bike or are you doing anything to the bike to make it more comfortable for this extended ride? So, um, you know, it's full suspension. One of the things I do want to do, um, and I'm going to go see my buddy Bobby, uh, mm -hmm. is we're going to try to make a sissy bar for it. Oh. Um, just something for me to be able to lean on. Perfect. Um, that, and I think we're going to do a battery relocation. Um, right now, currently, it's just uh, strapped to the back of the bike. But, <laughs> if, hey, it works. You know? yeah. Um, yeah. But just to make it look a little bit cleaner and, and, and better. But the sissy bar is definitely to, to help out on, on the ride. I... I'm going to wear a brace, a back brace, just because it helps um, keep, in my mind, to keep my posture. Yeah. You know, and, and doing something like this, uh, it's definitely going to be a lot. You get one of those back spring yeah. Uh, yeah, things where it, like, holds your shoulders back for you. I don't know. I want to look like <laughs> I'm trying to push head? my chest out. Yeah, yeah like a corset. <laughs> so, out of the, so tell me, out of these three, what's the first to go? Your forearms, your back, or your booty? Um, I don't know the booty. Uh, it starts to uh, it starts to go, but that lower back can really mm -hmm. can really mess with you. So um, I one thing I have been doing is I've been going to uh, to the chiropractor and, and getting regular alignments um, and preparation for this. You know, what I mean, and, and he knows what I'm doing, and so he's you know he's like, this is terrible. This is a terrible idea for your back. You know, <laughs> in the words of the great Ice Cube, you can do it. Put your back, back into, into it. it. <laughs> right. um, and I'm going to throw it right in there. I might come back an inch shorter, you know, compressed spine. Yeah. Um, but hopefully not. They're going to hit an inversion table and I'll be good to go. Mm. Nice. So are there such things as, you know, with, with touring bikes, they can lock in that throttle? You got? Oh, yeah. yeah. I got a cruise control oh, set up. Nice. <laughs> nice. Okay. Yes. Um, that, is, uh, that is definitely a feature that... Um, it's going to help me out because you know, everybody knows the vibrations can get to you after some time, and, and we like to shake them off. Um, and so while you're shaking it off, um, I got a little throttle In the lock. the great words of Taylor, Taylor Swift. Swift. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Sorry, Taylor. Uh, right. No, Tay-Tay. Um, Taylor Swift. Yeah, so it's just, uh, it's just a basic um, throttle lock, and you just uh, you set your throttle where you want it, and you can lock it into place and yeah. and let it ride, and, and uh, you know what I mean, play some video games on your phone or something. Oh. <laughs> you know, so, like a responsible driver. <laughs> right. You know. So then for your booty, you would just stand up on your pegs for a little bit? So, yeah, that's one thing I'll, I'll do is I'll jump up, and I'll just throw a leg up on the seat and just and ride up um, like that um, with one leg up, and I'll switch them back and forth. Um that's what I've done over, you know, long periods of time whenever uh, we're just riding for a long distance and I feel like there might be some fatigue coming on. I'll try to uh, mitigate it right away. Mm -hmm. Like I feel anything, I'll, I'll stretch right away rather than just kind of riding it out until it's just ungodly, you know. And, um, so there's that. And then I, I got this little uh, seat cushion uh, to butt support, if you will. Gel, it's a thing that I'm going to put on the seat. And, nice. Um, just, yeah. you know, a little extra cushion. Just cushion for the yeah, yeah. Cushion. Uh, for my cushion yeah <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, actually, one thing that was in that article that I thought was interesting, I was going to mention to you, the guys who did this attempt, they had uh, two sets of foot pegs on the bike so that they could change foot positions so that they would never be stuck with either like there for too long in any one position. So I was going to suggest 
it might not be a bad idea to try and think about maybe putting another set I, on. Like some, I had thought about making some like highway bars, so you just like oh and man, and just sprawl out. You know what I mean? I've actually like so messing around. I'm like, let's see how fast we can get in. There was this really steep hill um, out there in the country. I was ripping, and when I got to the top of the hill, I was on it, and I actually uh, laid out on the bike flat. You know, toes sticking straight out the back, and Whoa. just to get it was it was awesome. So that can be done. So I mean, just as long as I don't take a nap, I'll be good. Yeah. But uh, how fast are you planning on going the majority of the time? So I, I was I was gung ho. I was like, I'm gonna build a bike, and it's gonna do 70 plus miles an hour. I'll cruise at 60. I um, sat down and talked with myself and made more realistic goals and and set it that I can I can comfortably cruise at 50 miles an hour. Um, nice. Some of the back highways that I'll be riding, um, that's, you know, they have uh, 65 mile an hour speed limits. Um, I, I believe I'll be able to get it up there. Me and Taylor, we're going to be playing with some gearing today, but we got kind of behind. So I'm going to play with that a little bit this evening and, and see where we are and then uh, make any adjustments in the morning that I got to. Um, I'm hoping that I'll be able to maintain between 50 and 55 miles an hour. If I can do that, I'll hit Port Aransas in a uh, 15 hours of ride time. Mm -hmm. um, and that is fueling up real quick. I have a big gas tank that's going on there. I mentioned that. I got a two-gallon gas tank that's going to go on there so I can get going a little further. Yeah. Um, and uh, so it's, it's just fill up real quick, get back on the road. Just grab a water and a sandwich and hit that hit that cruise control and just munch while I'm riding. Over I was gonna there. ask, are you gonna have if you're gonna have a backpack or something? I, I'm gonna bring a camel pack. I was gonna say, yeah, camelback's the way to yeah. go, man. Yeah, I'll, I'll be hydrating. Um, I will not be on my regular Texas water, um, <laughs> as as most of you know. I love that stuff. Dr Pepper, we're looking for a sponsor, and I don't want money, just a pallet of Dr Pepper. <laughs> uh, no, I don't need that. I don't need that. That's. Terrible. But you need some kind of caffeine to keep you going, right? Right, and and uh, and Dr Pepper will be through fueling you. Okay, okay. So <laughs> nice. the the energy drinks give me the jitters, man. You don't want that when you're, and also you're gonna crash too, like, right? So yeah, like right. You need that steady that steady release. Twenty three flavors, maybe just. <laughs> <laughs> And some electrolytes. We'll put some of those in the camel pack. But yeah. Um, yeah, I will have onboard onboard beverages, um, <laughs> ready to go, and uh, potential uh, snacks. Probably a little bag of peanuts or something like that. But, you know, actually, not peanuts. My wife's allergic to peanuts, so, so not that. So not so no nuts. Jerky. Jerky. That's the way to go. We're gonna go with jerky. Yeah. I always do that on road trips because the chewing keeps me awake too. It does. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Yeah. A little oral. I like trail mix, but that's a two-hander. Right. So you can't do I got that. cruise control. Oh, yeah. <laughs> trail, max with, trail mix with a little bit of m and <laughs> Ride with my knee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that works the same. Yeah. I mean, uh, so sandwiches, easy to eat, I guess? Right, and, that, and that's kind of what I was thinking was, I was like, man, I was like, we'll just have sandwiches ready to go, and then you guys pull up next to me, I'll just reach over and grab a sandwich. What are uh, the things called? The uh, Churros. Churro. No, I was thinking. No, Uncrustables? Quesadillas. Oh, that's perfect. Well, yeah, we're, we're just going to name oh, hand quesadillas. <laughs> right. No, what's All right, that? I want Uncrustables and quesadillas. Velveeta um, cheese. The, the, just a I think you should just skip <laughs> the record break, and we should just have a potluck and oh. <laughs> bring all this food. Yeah. To right. well, well, I, I wanted to ask, so eventually you're going to come back through Keller, right, to yes. come past us? So that's uh, – that's, um, what I was doing is, is is mapping out so that I got the same mileage. Now, if I were just to go from Shoto to Port Aransas, 600 and some miles, um, it wasn't much. 650 miles, and that's highway. And I could legally ride on the highway if I wanted to. Um, and with a chase vehicle, I would feel safer without – they'd get run over first. Um, that's, yeah. Right, I'd, I'd know it was coming. Like a shield. Right, right. So uh, rather than do that, I needed to match the mileage that I was going for because I had set my mind for this ride to Albuquerque and the mileage that I was going to gain from that. Um, so I have actually veered a little bit. We're going to go a little east um, down through like Paris, Texas, and then I'll go through LaGrange. And if you guys know uh, anything about LaGrange, Texas. Oh, that's a uh, ZZ, ZZ Top. top. Yeah. yeah. Woo. Um, so we're going to roll through there and then into Port Aransas. Um, and then I'll cruise down. Port Aransas, uh, Mustang Island into Padre. Um, then we'll go back over the Padre and then come into Corpus Christi, 
where I heard somebody may or may not be there. I'm in Galveston. You're in Galveston. Yeah. That we're not going to Galveston. Okay, I was about to say, so. you guys want to come say hi? I'll throw you some eggs or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> throw eggs throw at eggs. you. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I heard. <laughs> I, so we're not going to Galveston. Um, so then uh, once I get there, um, we were going to camp on the beach was the idea. I'll probably end up getting a hotel because I want something comfortable to you sleep des- on. You, at that point, you deserve to sleep in a bed, dude. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. So fluffy air mattress on the sand. Um, uh, from there, we'll come up, and we're actually going to come west of San Antonio, around the uh, around the edge of the city, and west of Austin, um, just to avoid going through the city itself. Mm. It's chaotic. Um, and then we're going to come around in Keller, and then from Keller, I'm going to go up through Oklahoma City and Guthrie, uh, where my buddy Mike Cordell lives, and then we'll go east from there into Tulsa. And uh, that'll put me a little over 1,600 miles, 1,627, I think is what it was, with the route that I had planned out. I plan on adding a little to it so that I could make a, like at least 1,650 or round up from there. And then there was this whole thing of if I'm doing that in four days or five, uh, technically the world record, as long as you – don't stop for more than 14 days yeah you could continue on and so <laughs> my buddy was like well, why don't you just keep going after that you know get you a day's rest and keep going and i was just like man i'll ride back to keller texas Woo!" <laughs> wow. and that'll put me at 2,000 miles after the 1600 miles we'll talk <laughs> yeah maybe see how how we're feeling right right um i know that i'm barely um trend setting if you will somebody's gonna come right behind me and i and i i open that you know what i mean it's right on do it i um i think it's a, it's, it's an awesome thing for anybody to do and i'm not going to be sore if somebody beats my record you know what i mean but no so when did, what did they say at the end of that article oh it was you, uh, you have it in your phone i don't oh well I, I have my phone but yeah let me i could try and check that passage i'll pull that up while we talk but um I'll see where we're at. Um, You're going to keep going, hit 2,000 yeah, miles. Hit, if I hit, so if I keep going, hit 2,000 miles, um, and I get back here, um, I mean, really the only other place to go from here is, you know, back home again, which would put another 400. Right, so now we're 2,400 miles. Um, if I make that, guys, I'm done. I'm that, done. That's huge. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a lot. I was going to say uh, you should do, there's, I think he's a... I want to say pole vaulter, and I'm probably going to be wrong. There was a dude at the Olympics who um, basically every time he goes out, he tries to set a new world record and to beat his own record by, like, an inch because he knows he could go higher, but he's just going to do it a little bit at a time. Yeah. <laughs> and so uh, it's just such... <laughs> rather... I mean, I guess technically if you never stop for more than 14 days... Right, right, but you know, you, to have you probably already following. broke the record then. If if you've been riding as much as you say you've been riding, I mean, I, I've I've probably come close to it, but undocumented. You know yeah. what I mean? It's it's the once yeah. again, it's just um, it's a claim that somebody else has put out there. Um, you know, there was I caught a little bit of backlash whenever I first brought it up because of, of an individual that rode across the country, and uh, I'm not going to discredit. Um, anything that he did, he did an amazing adventure, uh, journey. Um, uh, there was, uh, it wasn't documented properly for what he did. And, um, uh, but yeah, we're not going to talk about I that. Got you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want, like I said, I don't want to discredit anybody yeah. or anything, but, um, this is, this is a legit me, myself on a mini bike covering this yeah. distance with and, like and, six others but, documenting you. Right. I mean, the, like, I, w- I want to just talk about a little bit, the fact that, um, like we already talked about, you need your two witnesses. So on, on top of the support staff you need and filming and all that. So you need to be filming 24 seven. You need photographic evidence. You need logs that you're going to be keeping. You need sworn statements from people and witnesses that you pass by. You need a GPS that's going to be recording all of this information. You are, you are taking so many steps to show that you are doing this. That's why the documentation part, it's like, it sucks that you have to do that. But that's the thing is you're going to prove that you covered this distance and you covered it 
by yourself. Yep. But I mean, it's taking a village. I mean, yeah. It's so stuff. it's yeah. It takes a team to do it, but it is we we are collectively um, pushing this mini bike to do this, and and really, it's it's more than um, more than just a personal achievement and stuff like that. It's also to show everybody that it's. I mean, it's more than a lifestyle too. Like this this mini bike thing could be. Um, uh, it could be a good positive thing if they would move more into letting us make them street legal. They would realize that a lot of people will will make them street legal and just ride them respectfully and yeah and whatnot. If they make They're, it easy to like get your registration and right. do all the stuff you need to do, right? And and to show people that. Yeah, because they're like it's just a toy, you know. It's just a little recreational vehicle, and it's like no, you could take this thing and and if you live in the city and you're only driving three or four miles to work every day or 10 miles to work every day, um, you know, you can easily do that uh, fuel economy and it's cheaper. I uh, honestly, you could make this Megalodon street legal and, and rideable for under two grand. Oh yeah. Brand new bike. Yeah. That's, and it's reliable. Yeah. So, I mean, it's and- like, I mean, and everybody's like, you know, oh, you can get a Grom or, or you know, or just, why not just get a regular motorcycle and stuff like that? It's because my mini bike is fun, okay? <laughs> then well, they could be cheaper, too. I mean, you could <coughs> essentially build that kid for under a, a $1,000. So, yeah, <laughs> uh, um, just like the, the Trailmaster um, the the 200. 200. Yeah, it's yeah. 99 bucks. Right. And oh, it, yeah. on sale I'll, at GoPowerSports.com. <laughs> I'll so you guys right. know. <laughs> Comes with the MSO, and that's what I've been telling everybody yeah. about. An MSO or a title, that's what you need. If you've got that, you're golden. Get yourself some lights. Get over there and have it inspected. Everybody's like, the police won't let it. They're, they're, they, they said it, that you can't register a mini bike. It can't be done. You know what? They told me I couldn't register my bike. They told me it could not be done. They also they also said that uh, there would never be someone who had beaten the five who would beat the five minute mile and then it happened right you know wasn't me but was it <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, the next that's the next one next one the yeah. tapes. <laughs> um, so I was actually when you brought that up the the idea of using these around a city and around a town like that's actually one of the first applications for it like yeah they were used off they were used as off-road vehicles but also i know tote goat released a model that was actually designed specifically for college students to get around town so that they could get to and from apartment to class to work and like right. it was designed because it's yeah it's nice and easy you get good fuel economy like you were saying and they're easy to work on it's like it's fun to work on them you it's don't affordable. need <laughs> affordable to work on too because replacement parts i mean right you're not talking about a, a crazy honda engine you're talking Talking about a lawnmower engine, right? LA Bass, back in the blow day, blow your motor, go to Harbor Freight, and yeah, you just go grab, slap another one, or go to Go Power Sports, Sports grab a Tillotson two twelve, Tillotson two twelve, which yeah. are on sale right now for two hundred and thirty eight dollars. Yeah, <laughs> or never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get one of those on the way out. We're gonna have to hook you up for sure. We need we need another duty. Make sure okay. you have one. Yeah. It's, it's really it's the best motor I, I have dealt with myself, and I have dealt with many motors. Um, I've I haven't messed too much with the Wildcats. Uh, I've he- heard back and forth about them, um, but when it comes to the Tilliston motor, I mean it's just the reliability of it yeah. has been um, unmatched. And so we talked about it downstairs while you're working on it. Um, maintenance. You do maintenance on your bike, and so a lot of people are have have issues yeah. are maintaining. Oh, All right, guys, change your oil. It is. Simple and it is literally half a quart, guys. Get with the program. Um, my motor, uh, a two what a do year, you use uh, canola, yes, or uh, olive? Uh, well, if you use a, a, a 50 to 1 <laughs> uh, canola and vegetable, uh, <laughs> yeah, and then if you want it to run cool, a little bit of coolant in there helps. Mm. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, okay. Um, that is terrible advice. Do not do that. Um, <laughs> washer fluid. <laughs> Just pour it over the motor when it gets hot. <laughs> It'll be fine. Um, yes, changing your oil is is one of the simplest, cheapest things that you can do. I've been riding this motor, and I, I whenever I get something, I promise you, I put it to the test. I will, I will send that motor. I'll blow it up, and be like, this failed, and <laughs> and then rebuild it. Yeah. Um, but uh, me, Charles, and Evan were uh, at Pate Swap Meet. Not this last year, but the year before, and uh, I had I had got the rascal, 
on my first rascal, and I was like, I was like, man, he he had a a predator motor he had given me with the bike, and I was like, sweet predator motor. I'm like, but what's up with that Tilly though, you know? <laughs> so yeah. I ended up getting the Tilliston motor, and then um, we got the stage two kit, and I I told Charles. When he was with Cars and Cameras, I was like, we should put the motor together in my hotel room. And so they actually came up to my hotel room. And we had this epic plan. And we were, we had pulled all the parts off. And then uh, Isaac looks at us and goes, well, how are we going to take the flywheel off? Oh. And I was just like, I'm going to just get a screwdriver and smack it with the hammer. It's 1230 at night oh, in the hotel. <laughs> and I was like... <laughs> Maybe this is a bad idea. We're supposed to be up at seven a.m. to go back out there to paint. Yeah, like, it'll be fine. I was like, "We'll we'll do it. We'll we'll do it at the." Uh, and if you guys watch the video, you'll see us. And then they come up to our, our hotel room. They're like, "You guys are building a mini bike in the hotel room." <laughs> um, so uh, we we got to the the paint swap me the next day, and Charles and, and Evan helped me um, get the motor built and stuff like that. And we were filming it, and and it was a whole lot of fun. Um, not knowing that that motor would be hands down probably the most reliable motor I've had nice. out of all of my motors and and that thing I I put it through heck and back and I mean by heck and back I've I've put it through it's been submerged in creeks um it has rock crawled all over Disney Oklahoma um it has rode all over Oklahoma Arkansas New Mexico uh Texas I mean the my the, the the rascal had a little over four thousand miles when I took that motor off. Nice, holy um, moly! Yeah, I, I put it on there. There was a short period that that motor wasn't actually on the rascal, um, but it was only for a short period while um, while we were just trying out a different motor. We we wanted to try out this two twenty four oh, um, yeah. stage two that this guy had built, and um, it just it really it wasn't. I, I felt like the my two twelve was better. Mm. Um, and I didn't it see wasn't any. the right fit. Yeah, it wasn't the right fit. It's really what it was. It really was. But uh, so me and Taylor cracked it open, and the bearings were in great shape. Uh, the cam was in great shape. Um, I recently put a new head on there only because I broke off an exhaust stud hmm. in the old head, and because I, and I did that, and that finally broke off after what three thousand plus miles. I mean, and. Really, the only thing I did was change the oil. That's it. I kept the oil changed on it. I kept the spark plug clean on it. I tuned my carburetor. If it went out of tune, I retuned it. Um, if it got dirty, I cleaned it up. And and that that's really just taking care of the motor. It's ready to go now. It's but we cleaned everything up and put a fire cam in there. Now it had a hot cam and now we got a fire in there um but that's add, the only change that we did did you add a shred head to it we did not add the shred okay. head to it no it's still got the stock head on there okay um we had talked about doing it as it's uh i i think that this is the most reliable that we're going to get and i For don't sure. want to mess with that reliability yeah so um, if it's not broke don't don't fix, fix it. it right um wait that's another taylor swift song so is it? <laughs> and an Ice Cube song, too. <laughs> right. Wait, they, did, right. A, they um, did a collab? Yeah. Oh, okay. Go ahead and sing it, Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> They're up. actually here. Pull Come up. on out. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so the, the reliability there is is um, is what I'm aiming for. And so we didn't want to change up too much, just bring it back to life again. Um, I had a few things a little out of alignment. My gasket was way out of alignment on the uh, on the carburetor, and my actual carburetor was loose when I got here. Um, and so that was robbing me, mm. um, pretty good, <laughs> but it's all been fixed now. So, mm. uh, new gaskets in there. We got no, no, no leaks. We locked tight at everything. Good. Um, but I think, I think we have a really solid chance at this. And, and, um, I have no doubt that with everything we got, that this is going to be accomplished. Heck yeah. No, man, yeah. I, you, you, you got my belief. Yeah, so. you got a whole team of people to take time out of their their schedule yeah. because they believe in you too. And I appreciate that every one of you guys that are doing this because like, yeah, because yeah, I would is, be right there with you the entire right. time. Yeah. <laughs> I and I appreciate that because I mean not everybody can just be like Wednesday. Yeah, let's let's go crush a world record. Yeah. Let's go. Like, so um, we're 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 rapidly approaching the ten minutes until we're done, Mark. 
we can go longer if we want because honestly this is exciting for me so keep, keep it going baby um i was curious so are you have you lined up with any of the groups because you're gonna have a bunch of members of the coalition out there with you have you lined up with any of the other groups like in san antonio or anyone to like ride along with you give you kind of like a pep you know like i i have not um i did um i did mention you know people i'm like if you guys I can't stop you. If you want to ride with me, I can't stop you. You you hop on that bike. If you break down, I cannot stop and please. I'm gonna don't. leave you. Yeah. Right. I'm but. gonna have to leave you behind because this is this is something that we're doing for in, in a certain way and I can't have that hinder. Um, but just have people. But you can you jump want, in, yeah, you can jump in at any time. We will force gump across this Texas. I, yeah. And you know, we we was we were riding and uh, <laughs> Jenny. <yeah. laughs> Jenny, Jenny's got sandwiches. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so when in, um, where I'm riding to in the first 24 hours um, is a whole lot of – I'm sure there's so many bikers out there. And if you guys are out there along my route, and I will post more about the route and, and kind of how I went. And I, I kind of told you guys um, the way that I was going. And through that, um, you know, coming through – Paris, um, College Station, LaGrange, um, into Port Aransas. Um, w that's a lot of back country, and so I don't see any big groups being out there. Yeah. But um, Corpus Christi actually has quite a few people, um, and I've talked to a lot of them, especially whenever I was going out there for our vacation. I was trying to get together, you know, a, a group ride out, and they were like, oh, Corpus Christi police don't like us, and Aww. they're like, be careful riding out there. So I rode on Mustang Island because it's a private island, and uh, we were renting there, and uh, yeah, so I did. Um, but uh, Got going into Corpus Christi, um, I would love for any of the guys out there with uh, South Texas Mini Bikes Group, um, let's see, South Texas Mini Bikes, and then they have uh, San Antonio Mini Bikes, um, you know, and I, I was supposed to ride out with some of those guys two years ago, not this summer, but last summer I was supposed to ride out with those guys when we were out there. Um, and uh, I ended up not being able to meet up with them the night, the day that, that they were having the, the ride out. And so me and my wife and my nephew went riding around. We went to the Alamo and stuff like that and uh, rode around downtown. It, it was a whole lot of fun. I had my little uh, micro mini with mm. me. So I was the biggest dude on the smallest bike riding around. I was nice. just like weaving in and out of the traffic. It was nice. Yeah. Cause everybody was just like, it was just like, you know, San Antonio traffic just creeps <laughs> along. Um, so hopefully we get to see all of those guys, you know, um, there, I know there's a bunch of guys out in Austin. I know there's guys all around Fort Worth D in the Dallas area. And, um, with this, so we, me and you looked at it and it was this GPS tracker and it's called tracky. Um, and I think that's the one I, I, I was looking at. It, I think that's the one we're going to go with. I don't know. Did we decide for this? Oh, so you want your gifts now, like it's Christmas? And it's <laughs> yeah, let's yeah, pull yeah. them out. Let's pull them out. I mean, yeah, I mean, now's not a bad going. time. Yeah. All right, we'll, we'll talk about it. So I, I looked it up, and, and after lots and lots of uh, um, research uh, of different GPS trackers, like Bluetooth, AirTags, and all that, what... Um, what we found to work best and has the best uh, ratings was the Tracky, and the Tracky GPS. You uh, you these actual units are not very expensive, like eleven uh, bucks on right. Amazon. Right, and and um, they have uh, really good uh, really good reviews. Um, I am not going to do a review on them right now because I have not used it myself. But um, everything that I've seen with it, I will be able to. Um, run this along with my, um, you pay a subscription, it's like $20 a month or $80 for the year or something. That way you can find out where that person's been going. <laughs> nice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it, what it does is it, it keeps track of you, um, your speed, your destination, and you set it for intervals. You can set it for to update every one minute, five minutes, ten minutes, every half hour, one hour, two hours, three hours. And that all depends on, you know, how long uh, the battery lasts on it. The guy, one of the guys was on the reviews was saying that he had his setup for like every uh, update every three minutes and, and the device that lasted 22 hours um, oh, nice. without a charge. Oh, dope. So okay. that's why I was like, well, I could set for every five minutes, but also um, 
my bike's got a charging port so I can also do that. Plus, I also looked at an accessory thing that I may try to get for this that it okay. snaps into um, and it'll keep it alive a little bit longer. I would like for it to update every maybe five minutes, I think would be sufficient, but um, we'll do some fine tuning after I play with it and, and, and see how it goes. Um, I want to be able to share this live location with everybody. Yeah, nice. and you guys will be able to hop online or Facebook or wherever and uh, look and see where me or Bernie is at or, or something. And um, and hopefully with this, it'll give you guys an, an accurate mm. idea of where we're coming, which way we're coming from, um, and you can kind of pay attention to that. I'll talk more about my route once I've got it dead set. This is the route we're taking. I will list off the cities. This is. Uh, the towns that I was going to be going through at first, and then we've changed this route because this was just going to be a whole lot of like two and a half miles turn left and then go 0.3 miles and then turn right. And so we're going to, um, we're going to bypass some straightaways. Yeah, some more straightaways so we can get to that 50 miles an hour, you know yeah. what I mean? Um, and so some of these we're going to be passing through at, at a very fast rate, but LaGrange, uh, we're coming through there. We're coming through College Station. Um, we're coming into Port Aransas. Um, I'm going to ride over the big bridge into Corpus Christi. Um, and so we'll be coming um, that way. I'm not sure how we'll come through Corpus Christi through town. I am not taking that highway all the way. I'm going over that bridge and I'm exiting right away. Yeah. It is madness over there. Um, so are, I, I don't want to get run over. <laughs> yeah. I was going to, are you going to have a, uh, like a live stream, like a Ram cam that's t showing people where you're at? Like, that, yeah, like, that's, that's kind of what that, uh, the, the live stream for the first 24 hours, um, we're, we're trying to keep that up the best that we can. I mean, and, some of the areas are probably going to be pretty. Right. Bad. It's, it's going to be bad signal. Luckily this thing here runs on the AT&T network. And so this is actually going to get better, uh, signal than my cell phone. Sponsor us AT&T. Yes. <laughs> um, Send us some Dr. Pepper. Yes, AT and T, <laughs> please, Dr. Pepper. Um, so this thing, uh, the one thing that they, the one guy said, he was like, the only downside is like if you come up to a public Wi-Fi, it wants to connect to it, and then pin your location to it. But it'd only be within like a hundred feet or a hundred, maybe mm. less, a hundred feet or something like that of where you would be at. Um, coming through the country side, don't see us coming across too many. Uh, public Wi-Fi's. Okay. Yeah. Um, so uh, I have been checking the network for the way that we're going, and we should be good. There's a kind of a gray area in the mountain area of Oklahoma that I'll be going through, um, and there's a way to divert from that, which would add mileage, which we like, but it also adds time. And then I don't get to ride through the pretty mountains. Mm. You know what I mean? So I mean, it's just a little short. Um, and we can't really call them mountains. They're really big hills. Yes. Um, it's yeah. still Oklahoma and Texas. Yeah. yeah, it's still. Yeah, but we're on the edge, though, so we're, like, right there on the edge of the Ozark Mountains. So. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. So well. what kind of date do you plan on embarking on this trip so people can be put on their calendar? So October 16th is, uh, is kickoff. And that's a Wednesday. That's a Wednesday, early morning. How um, early? 7, 5? I am leaving the house by 6 a.m. Okay. By okay. 6 a.m., um, and I, I think I had said 6 a.m. because I figured if I was moving, I would be in the mountainous part, real pretty mountainous area, uh, if you will, hillside, mm. um, in the trees around sunrise. And I was like, that would be one epic footage. It's really pretty, and everybody, you know, when you're going for a long ride, you want to look at something. Yeah. Um, but you know, we'll, we'll you know we'll see. I I have to log this route down, and and part of it is um, I I plan on this this area where I'm going to hit the mountain. And when I say mountains, I'm talking about where it's 600 feet. I'm going to go up to like 1,200. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Texas that, mountains. Texas okay. mountains. Yeah. So there was a couple steep hills. <laughs> yeah. Surrounded by trees, and we're going to call it mountains. Um. Texas mountains. Hey, it'll break up the scenery. Right. And that's really right, because, what you need uh, while you're right. Yeah, yeah, there's gonna be there's gonna be a lot of scenery through East Texas. Yeah. So instead of <laughs> so, so to be more specific, instead of just going on Facebook and finding you, where specifically should they be following 
you for this journey? Um, you can follow us on our YouTube channel. Okay. I have, I've, I've mastered the, uh, well, I tried to go live once on, on YouTube and I found out you had to wait 24 hours from your first time as you go to do it. Yeah. Oh, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. It was whack. It was, <laughs> but anyway, we're past that. Okay. So, um, More like I boo to, am I right? <laughs> Not if you guys go to mini bike coalition and like, and subscribe though. Yeah. Make sure you guys do that on YouTube, um, on YouTube. Not Facebook. Not, Tell uh, everyone to go to YouTube. YouTube okay. uh, is, is where a lot of the live feed is going to be coming from, is going to be from YouTube. And that, because we, what I really want is to, to grow the YouTube channel at, to, um, I want to grow the YouTube channel. Yeah, I don't, I've, I've got a, a huge fun. A lot of people uh, know who the Mini Bike Coalition is. Um, Sorry. You guys have seen, you know, my reels. That's, I guess, a lot of people know me from a lot of my reels and videos and stuff like that that we put out um, of doing ride outs and whatnot. But um, my YouTube channel is lacking, y'all. And we need to, with those numbers, those amateur numbers, we need to bump those yeah, numbers bump up. Those up. Sure. Yeah, we need to bump those numbers so, up. So uh, make sure you go and like and subscribe to the Mini Bike Coalition YouTube channel. And that's where we're going to be doing most of our live feed will mm -hmm. be on YouTube. Um, and my lovely wife with her. Um, phone that gets a lot better service than mine will be participating <laughs> and helping us out with that as well. Nice. Um, I will randomly hop on uh, a Facebook live or something like that, and you guys just see my cheeks flapping in the wind or something like that. Just um, it probably won't be flapping, but <laughs> I'll be eating a sandwich or something. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Sandwich will be flapping. That's what it is. I'm. I, you guys, you guys will see me eat a quesadilla. Oh, it while was, riding uh, down the road. <laughs> It was the, 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 the what do they call them? Kalachis oh. or whatever. Oh, Kalachis. I don't know what they're called, Kalachis? Yeah. <laughs> I like it. It's what called are those? Kalachis. It's koalas. Kalachi. Kalachi. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. It's the meat the with the sweetbread. Yeah. The Kowalskis. Yeah, so we're going to eat Kowalskis yeah. and quesadillas. So we had a few other gifts yeah. for you. I got you two of these trackies just in case. I don't know if someone else should be the keeper of that one, but just as a backup. Right. Um. Definitely. So redundancies. Um, yes. Uh, well, that's I could put one on myself and on the bike, or in the chase vehicle and the bike, or leave it with Bernie. You can definitely do that. Or as one is running out of battery, turn that one on and stagger them. Yeah. But then you, don't you have to have a separate subscription for that? Yes. I'll. Uh, but I'll. I'll pay for the subscription for for each one. Is yeah. So it'll be twenty dollars for this one. Twenty dollars for this one, yeah. or they'll have a bundle deal. Yeah, heck yeah! And then you'll sign them and give them away to someone on your YouTube channel. Ooh, that's okay. not a bad yeah, idea. Okay. You know what? Or you know what? The there was we yeah. was talked about. We had talked about doing something was um, as having um, this documentation that that we're going to be doing with these logs and photographs and whatnot was to make a copy. I was going to make five copies. Hide them around the world. Hide, hide them around the world. You guys gonna yeah? No, um, it was going to be a a support thing. Um, you know, as you guys know, this is uh, Go Power Sports has helped me out with a whole lot of this, but um, a lot of the other stuff that's that's come to uh, to be with this is coming out of my own pocket, mm. and uh, and I would like to recuperate that at some point because uh, the fuel is going to be costly. Man, we should have set up like a GoFundMe or something. Well, that's what it is. So what you can get is an exclusive signed copy of the evidence. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. I like this. All right. And I'm going to have five of those available. And I don't know if we were going to do an auction. Okay. Or uh, if I was going to be like, $100 right now, first five people. That <laughs> right. I know you're going to have some dope photos to throw in with that. Uh, right. I know a guy that's going to be on the trip. The there's yeah, <laughs> there's an amazing photographer that's coming along and Super videographer dope. that's coming along. And, and Bernie. And, <laughs> and, and <laughs> Bernie. Sorry. 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 <laughs> All right. right. <laughs> Off the live yeah. is done. Live is done. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so are, sorry, Bernie. We are done here. That's a wrap. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, I so. wanted to give you this jersey yeah, as well. So th this is our brand new Patriot jersey that we just came out Should've with, with our red, Should've white, and blue. Oh, yeah. Bam. Mm. So that is you, all for you. So represent. 
Yeah, this will be uh, this will be on for the first twenty four hours. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be yeah. nasty and smelly after that, and I will. And change. you can spend a hundred dollars and get it signed by Jack Ramsey. Oh, this will be five hundred dollar nice. item. Oh, okay. sorry, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I you won't wash them. it. One hundred percent stank. Yeah, I'll, right. I won't. Yeah, you'll get the you'll get the stink in it too. So of course we've got you. I don't, you may already have some gloves, but just in case you don't, we're going to hook you up with some Go Power Sports gloves. Well, some mitts. For the mitts. Mm. Ooh, if you oh, don't use yeah. it for the ride, at least for maybe the GPS 180. Oh, I'm, I'm definitely going to be using them for the ride because uh, I don't know if you guys know anything about October and 6 o'clock in the morning. Uh, it's going to be a little chilly. Nippy. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be a little nippy. So there will be a lot oh. of sleeve. Yeah. I, there was one more thing over there. Oh. I was able to find a pair. Good job. Oh. oh. You may not need them. Because, yeah, depending on helmet and everything. Got you some brand new GPS oh. and power sports goggles. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Oh. There you go. We'll, just put these we'll make sure right. you're all decked out. We'd hate for you to catch a, a fly in the eye. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This will be definitely Because I'll be throwing them at you while you're <laughs> right, <so>. at <laughs> And I'll be throwing eggs at you at some point, too. Yeah, so. yeah. That's why we're avoiding Galveston. So. Well, I was going to say, also, if it's, uh, if it's hot, in this article that we were just reading that Harley brought by, uh, they said that when they were going through... <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Hey, look, I need you to take me serious. Okay, I'm sorry, man. No, 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 you're right. This is a very <coughs> serious discussion we're having. Right. Um, but they said that they literally put a hose and they were splashing water out on whoever was riding the bike at the time. And they said, like, because it was 118 degrees when they were going through the, uh, the salt barrens. Dear Lord. Yeah. I'm and glad I, I waited till October. Yeah, no, October is the right time to do this. So, so I've seen one of these guys were like, easy rider in it. On their bike, and they just uh, they just taped a bag of ice to their handlebars as they were riding, and it was just like misting them. Oh, nice. yeah! It, it seemed genius at first, but then like half, it was like thirty minutes later, they were completely soaked. <laughs> I was gonna so, say, yeah, after a while, that's just a mess. Miserable, yeah. 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 Right, it's like oh, my cell phone's not working now. We're updating your Rat Fink shirt. Just oh, so you got yes. something to wear. Which is good because my last <laughs> one, um, I accidentally dried, and anything I grab off the top shelf. Navel. Yeah, <laughs> and then we, of course we updating you your your uh, eight bit shirt. Oh, yeah. oh nice. Mini bike entertainment center. I had an extra yeah. shirt just because we had your size. It, this is an oldie, but still a goodie. Oh little, yeah, little, a little rascal shirt, especially since you're riding around on your rascal. Oh man, that's actually awesome. my daughter wore that to school today. Oh, yeah, so gosh. that's the only other little rascal shirt I have belongs to my daughters. Heck yeah, that's awesome, yeah. man. So now I got one too. That's so and sweet. Sorry, babe, you can't have this one. And next time we'll have a shirt for you, but we have a mini biking ain't easy sticker. What? What? This, what? You'll, you'll oh, see wait, this sorry. stuff. Sorry, I like how <laughs> You'll, you'll see bad. this on merch here soon, but until then, this will have to suffice. So there you oh, go. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Exclusive. Yeah, exclusive. It's exclusive. Um, oh, yeah. I love the new sticker. They're doing great. Heck yeah. So uh, since we're rapidly approaching. Uh, I guess escape vo escape velocity. Okay. Uh, I did want to read this for you from that article. It says, uh, to the best of our knowledge, this is the first time such a ride had been made on a mini bike. However, others will undoubtedly follow on this or other routes. So such an adventure is an experience that will provide a lifetime of memories. And only a bicycle can give the rider such a close view of this great country of ours. All it really takes is a strong back, a little careful planning, and a weak mind with an appreciation of the absurd. And I think you meet all those qualifications, nice. brother. Check. Check, check, and check. Yes. Yeah. Weak so. mind, I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we wish you all the best of luck. Your Thank prayers you. are Thank definitely you. with us. We, we want to see you. Uh, our prayers are with you, actually. Yes, I with think, you. Yes. <laughs> I mean, you can send yours our way, too, man. I'm not going to complain. <laughs> We're passing <laughs> prayers around here. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. what we do. But I'm excited to see where this journey leads to you. Uh, I'm, I'm your Yoda. I'll be over your shoulder whispering to you. You're like, keep going. Uh, but you got our full support, and we care for you so much, and we are so stoked to see you on this. So good luck out there, all right, Thank man? you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for coming out and hanging out with us today. Thank you for having me. Uh, I go, Hold on. Should we keep throw it to comments, or are we done? Uh, we actually got quite a few comments. Let's okay. go to comments. Um, Let's do some comments, comments man. We yeah, got yeah, Josh yeah. Perkins saying, go across the country, L.A. to New York. Okay. What do you think about that? I have zero interest in going <laughs> to New York, so... Oh, um, come on. I was just there a few weeks ago. I loved it. Oh, I man. It. And I saw a guy... Well, I actually, you know what? I would he saw go, someone on a minibike. Yeah, I saw a bunch of people on a minibike. I would rather go to New York 
than L.A. Oh, yeah. Oh. I'm New York over L.A. So, all day. Texas over everything. Though. Right. If I would go San Diego. <laughs> uh, I, I, I thought, you know, San Diego, because, I mean, if I'm going to go somewhere in California, San Diego. Yeah. Beautiful over there. Um, I would do San Diego to, like, Florida Keys. Okay. Oh, that would be nice. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. And then you get out of the Florida Keys quick, because... Because... <laughs> Yeah, I have. I've. I used to live in uh, South Georgia, and we used to ride our motorcycles into Florida all the time. Oh. And uh, we went to uh, the Keys one time during a particular festival, and I could not have got out of there fast enough. Wow. Oh, dang. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, they're, they're a special breed down there. Nice. <laughs> uh, Jet Life says, "Just left you that seat for your bike. Good luck." Thanks, oh. brother. I appreciate. It. Oh. He said he had a custom stitch seat that would fit my bike. <sighs> and then he was bringing it to me, so I'm super stoked to see what that looks like. I will send pictures. Dude. Thank you. I super appreciate sweet, it, brother. Jet. Thank you. Thanks, Jet, man. Uh, Jeff Sells says, I'm excited for you, Jack Ramsey. Jeff Sells is our um, is one of our independent witnesses. Uh, oh, as nice. a guy I met in Tulsa um, riding around one time, and, and uh, we, we catch each other on ride outs, and, um, and I started talking about it, and I was like, I got to find a volunteer. And he was like, I'm down. I'm Thank like, you. are you serious though? Because I'm like, if I need somebody, don't just pump me up. And he was like, oh, I'll, I'll call into work. He's like, I'll, 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 I'll take time off of work. Thank He's you. like, screw it, yeah, I'm Dang. down. That's when, when do you get the opportunity to do that? And then he Stand was said, up dude, man. Yeah. Shouts out to Jeff. Yes, yeah, thanks, Jeff. He, uh, him, and his wife and friends participated in a Guinness World Record, uh, which is why he wants to see me do this. Um, they participated in the world's largest pizza party. That oh. they did there in Tulsa, and um, and they, they knocked it out of the park. It was a huge pizza party. I said That's world's how, biggest. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's my kind of party. <laughs> yeah. And then Curry Nam said, I'm going to get folded up in turn one, claiming it. Oh, I thought we were talking about the 180. So <laughs> 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 wrong combo. Whoa. Shouts out to Nam. Uh, yeah, but he also asked, running that. anything special on the motor? You did answer that. Yep. Um, you switched out the cams. Um Stage Jeff, two motor, yeah. And love. Yeah. A lot of love in that. Thing. Jeff oh, also whoa. said, can't wait to watch it happen. Jake Moe says, it was nice meeting Jack and Bobby at the first pull start picnic. True mini bike enthusiast. Shouts out to Jake. Shout what out to Jake. Jake. Yeah. What's up, He's Jake Moe? Good people, man. Yeah, Jake, he builds some amazing stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love Jake's stuff, man. I, I'm, I'm an avid follower. Um, that jersey is awesome from Curry. Uh, where, where, when can people expect these on the right site? Right now. Oh, they're already up. They're yeah. live. I just did a photo shoot with Flacco that hopefully I'll drop a little 30-second yeah. oh, nice. music vid. Go get it. Buy them out it. now. And for those of you who bought up all the 60-tooth sprockets, share the love. <laughs> <laughs> there is none in the warehouse, none in the store, and I needed one. Um, Vidal Vital from Cowell, uh, or Vi Vidal Cowell says, collab right out with Detroit. So we got to go out to Detroit, too. I've been wanting to go out to Detroit. Yeah, yeah. They yeah, same. get crazy out there, man. Have you seen that? I mean, it is like an L.A. out there. They get a big group, and I would love to be part of that. I, can. I would go for that ride out. You guys in Detroit are built different, and I respect that. Yeah, built for tough. Yes. Yep. yes and then are. Jeff again says, so down, and that is it. Awesome. Right on, Jeff. So I appreciate your support, buddy. So that was a soft out. Now this is a hard out. So Yeah. High five. No, are we, could we could we I don't know do that with my a head. little okay. more awkward? Right. So that, I just so that was a, little... a soft out. Now here's a hard out. Good luck to you, Jack. <laughs> thank you for sir, making sir, it out to you. us. Bernie from across the room. Yeah. What up? Boom, boom. <laughs> so thank you guys for joining us for another episode of Mini Biking Ain't Easy. Uh, be, be sure to like, subscribe, and just like our friend Jack, make sure to ride on.